conversation about diversity with African American students landed the principal of Manuel High School in trouble. But now the mother of the student who hit record is apologizing. WDRB's Chris Suter tells us she blames teachers at the school for what happened. Chris? Lindsay, David, WDRB obtained letters from Tiffany Williams in which she says two teachers encouraged her son to act in a way that was underhanded, sneaky, and untrustworthy. Her son is one of two African American students who went to Principal Jerry Mays to talk about the head football coach not allowing student trainers to kneel during the national anthem before a football game. What I don't like about it, there's some people where this is a sincere gesture on their part and they sincerely mean that. There's some people jumping on it because it's the cool thing to do. That I don't like. I don't think it, anyone it, necessarily calls kneeling the cool thing to do. That's your perspective. The conversation also dipped into May's religion and he made comments about JCPS administrators. The district reprimanded Mays for his comments, but WDRB just learned that Williams sent a letter to Mays apologizing for the trouble her son caused. She says teachers James Miller and Nicole Finley told black student union board members to record any conversations they had with Mays. She says the teachers pointed to a Kentucky law that allows people to secretly record conversations as long as one party knows about it and says that's what prompted her son's actions. Miller issued this statement to us, quote, it is false that I told students to record Mr. Mays. I never told any student to secretly record a conversation. Finley added in parts, at this time our manual students, their families and staff need healing. Williams wrote a separate letter to the school board saying in part, quote, I am furious regarding the fact that several teachers who are leaders at DuPont Manual have used my son as a vehicle to bring harm to Mr. Mays, chaos to the school, and to promote their own personal agenda or vendetta. Chris Suter, WDRB News. All right, thank You are a principal who has an open door policy, who cares for every student, parent, staff, and faculty member. The evidence of your impact is apparent to me every time I walk on campus. You are always looking for ways to improve your school to promote student success in and out of class setting. I am furious regarding the fact that several teachers who are leaders at DuPont Manual have used my son as a vehicle to bring harm to Mr. Mays, chaos to the school, and to promote their own personal agenda or vendetta. They are the ones who should be held accountable for influencing young minds in such a negative way. Please know that it gives me great pride and honor having my son at DuPont Manual High School under Mr. Mays' leadership. I know firsthand the type of leadership and guidance Mr. Mays provides his students, teachers, and staff. He is honest and treats people the way he wants to be treated. He is optimistic, intrinsically helpful, and genuinely concerned for others. Mr. Mays is always looking for ways to gain consensus and get people to work together efficiently and effectively as a team. He holds everyone accountable, including himself. When things are going well, he praises. When problems arise, he identifies them quickly, seeks solutions, and gets things back on track. I have seen Mr. Mays make tough decisions, but he does not make them unilaterally. Instead, he fosters a collaborative approach. Mr. Mays is a school leader who communicates clearly, concisely, effectively, and motivates everyone to give his or her best at all times. Therefore, I am proud to have my son under Mr. Mays' leadership at DuPont Manual. The recent actions from the BSU board members are a result of outside influences such as Mrs. Nicole Finley, English teacher at DuPont Manual High School, and Ms. Chanel Helm, the leader of the local chapter of Black Lives Matter. These two people have served an instrumental role in influencing the decisions the leaders of the BSU have been making. I feel as if it is quite pathetic of Mrs. Finley and Ms. Chanel Helm to treat these students as puppets to advance their personal agendas or vendettas 
to have Mr. Mays removed as principal. Mrs. Finley has spread numerous stories about her encounters with Mr. Mays. However, she is never seen at the forefront of these protests to have Mr. Mays removed from office. Instead, she voices her opinions onto the students so that they may be used as her tool to help advance her agenda. I would like to reemphasize that Mr. Mays should not be removed as principal of DuPont Manual High School. Mrs. Finley decided on her own accord to show the children in her class how to attack an intruder with a pair of scissors. She made the students hold the scissors up to their neck to show them where they should be placed. She then made the students stab their desk with the scissors to show them how much force to use. When one student did not use enough force, Mrs. Finley decided to use her own scissors to stab that student's desk. The students were terrified and felt bullied in Mrs. Finley's class. My daughter, among others, was unbelievably upset and unnerved at the banshee-like way Mrs. Finley conducted herself. Having students place a makeshift weapon up to their throats and repeatedly stab their desk is at best unacceptable and at worst criminal. Mrs. Finley's daughter struggles from anxiety, as this has been made public during open statements at the JCPS school board meetings. It boggles me that a parent of a child suffering from anxiety would be so careless and short-sighted. Mrs. Finley has created the very atmosphere she pretends to protest. My daughter is now fearful of Mrs. Finley. We will no longer tolerate her insane bullying and psychotic behavior. I feel that those in leadership are using and manipulating the students for their benefit. The sponsors of the BSU have allowed Chanel Helm to come in and take over the BSU to push their own agenda. Those teachers were entrusted to lead our children and have allowed Chanel Helm to manipulate them further. do not know Jerry Mays whatsoever. And tonight we're going to organize with other folks around getting this man out of his position. Really even friendly with too many white men or white people, period.
colors of blue Shoots up through the stony ground There's no room No space to win in this town You're out of luck And the reason that you had to care The traffic is stuck Take you out of this place Someone you can lend a hand In return for grace So beautiful